Alrighty, first edition of Motion Picture Meltdown. Everybody listening out there in uh, fucking blogger land or whatever you want to call it. Blogger land. That's Steven, uh, Brosenberg, Brosifberg. I think Cheats might be over there too. Cheats, you there? Ah! Yep, Cheats is there. So, uh, alrighty. Let's get this uh, ball sucking show on the road. Steven, what shitty movie do you have for me today? Uh, we just watched it, and it's called Shrooms. I, uh, I actually remember the first time I saw this movie, and it's got this really terrible, like, the cover is like a mushroom, and then like some tree limbs, but it's in the shape of a skull, like, it looks fucking retarded. Shrooms. Yeah, we, uh, I actually saw the preview for this a long, long time ago, and decided I wanted to watch it. I don't know, I, never seen the preview. I, I watched or I read the back of the, the back of the box. So let's well, see I've, if we can have... establish some uh, precedent here. Describe for the listeners. Yeah. Describe this. Uh, describe this fucking ingenious Oscar-winning plot to us for shrooms. Well, as I told you earlier, uh, it's about six sexy teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> let's take a trip to Ireland. And apparently, Ireland is the place to go for mushroom tripping. And, uh, you know, they decide to go camping. They get rid of their keys and their cell phone and everything else that they possibly can. Which, you know, sounds like a really good idea. They're out in the middle of these black woods. On their way out there. Interior woods. They, they, they find, yeah, interior woods. Uh, on their way out there, they find a dead animal, dead animal on the side of the road. They try to pick it up. And there's these two, like, really creepy guys out in the woods that are just, like, making sounds at them, like, that's their food or whatever. So naturally, they get back in the car and continue on to their destination, because after seeing that, I would definitely keep staying in the same way, right? <laughs> okay, so basically, stereotypically, um, retarded teenagers decide it's going to be a good idea to get fucked up on some shrooms in an unfamiliar place without any form of communication or uh, escape. So exactly. I pretty much nailed that down. Yeah. All right. Well, so, let's, let's go over some of the what? highlights then. What are some of the uh, maybe a good death or something? Uh, a witness. good thing about the movie? <laughs> well, uh, it's probably not going to be possible. But can we do a different question? <laughs> sure, cheats. Feel the question. What was good about that movie? <laughs> I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say. Nothing at all. Four movie. You're gonna give it zero stars. F minus. Fuck. No, I'll give, I'll give it a three. Just, know. just for the sheer sure fact, the actors actually had a decent idea of what they were doing. Yeah, the acting wasn't bad in it actually. That's but I'll give that. I'll give that about the movie. The acting, acting was not amazing, but it wasn't bad. The plot was just retarded though. Like to go on with the plot, they find these mushrooms. They're only supposed to take these regular mushrooms. And uh, this find girl this, they finds... Find the, they find the crazy mushrooms in the woods? Yeah. That's fucking... Great idea. Let's eat these... No, possible... there's, but there's a guy out there that knows what the mushrooms all are, like one of the teenagers. Uh-huh. So, so anyway... He's an expert, man. Yeah, he's a mushroom expert. He's a, he's a doctor. He's got a PhD in mushroom. Smoking. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway... So, you know, he tells them all, don't eat this kind of mushroom. It's so powerful that it will make your heart stop and your brain explode. And our, the legend says that people who have taken it have seen the future and and all this bedusy. So naturally, one of the teenagers decides to take it. And she has a fucking seizure and can apparently see the future. And She's a stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She can, and then she starts seeing all her friends die in the future. Right on. So that's pretty much the premise of the movie, and the whole mystery of the movie is whether or not uh, people are actually dying or whether or not it's just part of this big mushroom trip. Well, don't give it away, because, you know, I want everybody to go and watch this movie, because that would be the catastrophic event. Like, it'd be like telling people that Dumbledore dies in the Harry Potter 6. <laughs> yeah, we won't ruin the movie. Well, we'll ruin Harry Potter if you haven't, if you haven't, <laughs> if you haven't read that already. Yeah. Fuck you. 
We should we should ruin the endings of these movies so people don't spend their money on them. But fuck it. Yeah. But take sure. it take it from sheets. This movie has no redeemable qualities besides possibly the acting, which wasn't awful. But acting yeah, can only be as good as the script allows. So. The deaths were kind of brutal. Though I mean, what you saw of them, there was okay. some good good gore, decent gore. Some eyes popping out or something. No, not really. More or less, just a bit off dick. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, some douchebag just gave it off. What is it with modern day uh, cinema and just dicks getting removed constantly? It's like, <laughs> don't ever watch the movie Teeth. <laughs> yeah, that's that'll make you hate the fact that you're a man. Plus, <laughs> I mean, if you are a man, and if you're a woman, it would make you wish you had teeth in your vagina, so you could worry about all kinds of crazy monsters and. Well, I got that trailer about you. Do you want me to go play it? Sure, this is the trailer queued up noise. Go ahead. Dude, this trailer already sucks. A stream ship has to be outdoors. The right environment with the right people. Are you sure this is a good time to go looking for mushrooms? No, I've had it. I've the whole park to myself. Bye. So tell us a ghost story. Strange things happen up here around shroom season. People missing only for their bodies to turn up mutilated, but always have one thing in common. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to heighten the sexual experience tenfold. <laughs> Conclusion: Bluto's having forced ten visual hallucinations. He took the fuzz. What a dick face. Hey, asshole! This isn't funny. You hear that? There's somebody there. Hello? You're freaking me out. This is a trip, man. Right? This is a trip. Hello? So yeah, let's go. Hello? Take a look. <laughs> What's going on in my head was real. What's not? No, this isn't real. Look at each other. That was perfect. Did you hear the Wilhelm scream? The guy, the guy jumped off, and there was a Wilhelm scream. <laughs> well, that's all that really matters. Isn't it? <laughs> Why do they use that stream for everything? Dude, I have no fathomable clue. Oh, no, that was the Wilhelm stream. But that was still a pretty, it's still a pretty good scare of history. Yeah. Sure. He's just heading out. It's, we have oh, those headphones up there. Anyway? Okay, well that makes sense. Things? I guess so. Cheats, thank you for being on the show. Always a pleasure. Hope to see you again on here sometime. We'll probably Skype you in someday. Until then. Oh. Alright. Stay, stay cheats. <laughs> As always. Dude. God damn, dude. That sounded like fucking King Kong leaving his house. <laughs> God damn, dude. <laughs> I don't know, because of the wind or something. You fucking knocked over a bunch of shit. Like, I was so scared. I was so sick of shit. <laughs> oh, God. That's about all the time we have for today, so until next time, see you back later.